so we'll see now how to create a footprint so go to footprint editor okay we have downloaded the data sheet for uh, lm741 In this also, we'll create a first a new library, which is a project specific. Click OK. Let's give it a same name. LM. Okay. And the LM will create a new footprint. One LM seven forty one. Make sure you change this type to true false. As our, all the components will be twofold component. Click OK. Shift this names at the side. First thing is we'll start with the drawing a rectangle since the IC is a rectangular IC. Now the dimension of this rectangle will be given by this dimension. The IC its total length is 10.16 and width is 6.6. That means from here to here it will be 10.16 and from here to here it will be 6.6. So this point will be half of. So this side it will be half of 6.6. That will be 3.3. This side it will be half of 10.16, so it will be 5.08. So we'll just double click on the rectangle boundary and start adding. Start point will be 5.08, 3 .3. 3 .3. sorry, 3 .3. 5.08 and 5.08. So x for this coordinate will be given at the bottom plane d x and y, and the other axis is 3 x is 3.3 and y is 5.08. Next for identification, we'll just create a small circle. As IC has its identification, that your counting will start from here. Next, also IC is always having arc, so select arc, select at the center, keep it around radius one mm. And then start drawing an arc. Next is we'll start adding a pad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's been IC. So we'll add all the pads now. We need to find a coordinate for each of the pads. So from data sheet, here we know that it is distance between two pins is 2.54. So distance from zero will be 1.27 up and 1.27 down. Y coordinates for this board. And this will be 1.27 plus 2.54, so it will be 3.81. Same way here it will be 3.81. So y axis is negative on top, positive below. X axis is positive on the right, negative on the left side. And the x axis, this position will be given by this 8.26, so it will be 4.5. Three half on one side, four point three on the other side. So double click on pad one. Its x coordinate will be four point one three. 
and 3.81. We can keep it oval at 3.5. So same, we'll have to repeat for the all the point 4.13 and 1.27. Once we set the dimensions, coordinates of all the uh, pads, next we need to define a boundary. So this boundary is defined by front courtyard. And then click on rectangle. So that inside a PCB editor, when we put multiple footprints, our pads of one footprint does not overlap with the other. This will give it a sufficient space from overlapping with the other footprints. So we can save this file. And this completes our footprint. We can we can go to 3D model. Currently it is only a footprint, there is no 3D model assigned. So 3D model, we can go to footprint properties, 3D models. This folder icon. Package DIP. Package DIP 3D shapes. And then 18 we need to find out. Eight pin. This way. So just double click on it. And it will come. Now we'll have to align it to our Move it into All the pins should be inside the 
actually holds. So it is line. And so once again, we can just click OK. Save this file and we can see the 3D model. This is a 3D model. Once 3D model, we can close this. We can open our symbol. We can find created symbol. Go to symbol properties. And we can assign our created footprint. To our symbol. Okay. So we can attach the data sheet in similar manner. Let's see. 